بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب It's imperative that we stay on the Sabeel al-Mu'mineen. The path of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and the salaf of this ummah, meaning the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een wa tabi'een wa taba'a tabi'een rahimahum Allah jami'an. Let's look at a narration of the salaf of this ummah. A narration of Ubay bin Ka'b radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anhu qal alaykum bi sabeel wa sunnah fa innahu ma ala al-ard abdin ala sabeel wa sunnah dhakar allahu fi nafsihi faqshara jilduhu min khashatillah illa kana mithluhu ka mithla shajra قد يبس ورقها فهي كذلك حتى أصابتها ريح شديدة فتحت ورقها إلا حظ الله عنهم خطاياهم كما فتحت تلك الشجرة ورقها وإن اقتصاد في سبيل والسنة خير من اجتهاد في خلاف سبيل والسنة فانظروا أن يكون عملكم إن كان اجتهادا واقتصادا أن يكون على منهج الأنبياء وسنتهم In this narration of Ubay bin Ka'b رضي الله تعالى عنه who said, you must follow the path in the sunnah because there is not a slave on the earth that is on the path in sunnah that remembers Allah when he is alone and his hair raises on his skin from fear of Allah except his example is like the example of a tree whose leaves have dried and likewise it has become dry until a severe wind strikes it and its leaves fall from it, similar to how Allah removes the sins. Being frugal on the sunnah and the path is better than striving diligently in differing with the path in the sunnah. Therefore, look to see whether if you are frugal or striving with regards to your deeds, that they are on the methodology of the prophets and their sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be on the Sabeel al Mu'mineen, Sabeel wa Sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.